Okay, so I'm just repairing the RCF driver that had a uh, the cone separated from the voice cover. I've got two part glue, instant mitre bond type stuff. So I'm just um, literally dabbing a little bit on. So I've got two places at the minute, two little tacks there and there. So uh, yeah, I'm using this stuff, mitre fast bond activator and fast bond adhesive. So yeah, I'll just run a little bit around the outside and uh, bond it together and see how we get on with that, I think. So I've run the glue right round and sprayed it with activator a couple of times. Um, I tried to bring it up the cone a little bit and also sort of sit down into the voice coil a little bit so we get a little bit of uh, decent, I'll try and get a decent area of bond to it. So, yeah, hopefully that should hold. Um, I mean, it says it's for putting furniture together, for wood, most plastics, etc. So I think it's quite suitable uh, glue to use, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Right, as you can see or hear, that is fixed it. Thankfully. So I'm just going to show you a couple of little tricks. Um, a little trick just to get this cane looking nice again. Um, you can use boot polish, but this is um, a fireplace polish. at the camera all right okay so we're there so yeah um, basically you want to get yourself a little cloth maybe a little brush would do it Dust in. so like to say this is a black paste that I've got here and actually a little brush might do that better um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stick this um, dust cap back in the hole and then we can uh, not worry about the dust up down there so let's get a decent fit on that So, would you put a little dab of glue on the outside? I'll just set that off with the activator just so it holds up. Just press it into a bit, into it a bit, just so it grips it. Alright,
13 Satisfying. So yeah, I was saying you basically uh, get a little cloth and some black boot polish, and you can just bring the colour of the cane back. That brings out nice and black. We offer it a little bit of uh, protection as well, I guess. Nice to think out the train here. You can see that's coming up a treat. Just turn that amp off this buzzing away, you know. It's nice being able to repair things. It's satisfying. I mean, a lot of people don't have the money to buy a brand new kit every time it breaks. So, I'm very much one for not spending a lot of money on this stuff. You know, get the good gear in the first place, but uh, you know, if you can keep upkeep what you got. Um, not spend too much more money then uh, onto a winner I think. That's coming up lovely. lightweight cane this. Some of them get really thick and uh, it's good for holding sound pressure in uh, scoops in uh, folded horns even where you got a very tight small amount of air. So you know you need a nice rigid cane um, but with these thinner cones you do get a nice sound out of them. Get a little bit of you know movement in the cane rather than being solid. A lot of the car speakers are just solid, horrible plastic. But if you want your cone to be able to move naturally and create the sounds naturally. So, uh, yeah, it's a very fine balance. I expect the uh, speaker companies are doing all sorts of testing all the time on that, but. It's a very fast subject with a lot to learn about. I spent a lot of years reading up on it. I've forgotten a lot these days, but uh, you know, still a lot to learn. Yeah, 
You see how nice and black that's coming off. I should have done that dust, dust cap before I glued it in, really, but never mind. I always suck it back out with the hoover if need be, if it gets stuck on. Up. Right, play on that, turn the old amplifier back on. was broken and I was going to have to replace it or recone it but no happy days <laughs> 